Hey guys, George Donnelly here. Uh, cross border, always. So uh, I sometimes see um, adoption projects, you know, like uh, Bitcoin Cash Bolivia, you know, or uh, Nano Germany, you know. So they the projects are named and are focused on, uh, you know, achieving adoption in X country. Right. So um, that approach is just flawed. That's just a flawed approach. Here's why. Cryptocurrency has the most value when it crosses uh, nation state borders. This is because in the fiat world, when you cross, uh, when you uh, when you send some money across a border, there is lots of paperwork, fees, hassles, uh, inspections, etc. involved, right? Um, and in fact, you have to change currencies, right? Like if I'm traveling, if I have, if I'm in Germany and I have um, euros, and I'm like. Yeah, I'm going to go uh, hang out in uh, Rwanda for a while and uh, I'm going to go live there for a while, you know, because I'm like a digital nomad or I have I want to have business there or something, you know. Um, well, when I get to Rwanda, I have to um, exchange my euros for whatever their local money is. Right. Or maybe have a credit card or debit card that works cross border. Right, which is definitely is something that you know is for, is a fairly recent uh, thing that makes things so much easier. But still, like I don't know about I've seen a lot of banks that charge extra fees uh, for paying uh, making payments cross border, which I frankly I consider stupid, but they do it. And um, also, like especially in some parts of the world, like. I, I've had this experience where like I have a, you know, like I might have like a Visa debit card and, you know, it's got the Visa logo on it. It's it's treated as a, as a Visa card. It can be or used to be. I don't know. I don't keep up with this stuff, but some, some places want it, can't can can't can't handle it. Um, and of course, there are lots of places you may want to spend money in the developing world or anywhere that just don't accept credit cards or debit cards, right? So, uh, you know, I mean, taxis, I don't know. In any case, um, whenever you wanna cross borders with fiat, there are, it's a pain in the butt. There are all kinds of issues that can come up. So the fact that, um, you know, you can say, like that Bitcoin Cash doesn't even see borders, right? For Bitcoin Cash, borders don't exist because essentially all that's happening is you're just switching one, uh, you're just switching the balance of, of a couple, uh, you know, public keys uh, on the ledger. That's all. <laughs> like the ledger is the central point and everybody connects to it from everywhere. I mean, it's internet, it's magic internet money, you know. Um, so really, Whereas, you know, for fiat, nation state borders exist. For crypto, it doesn't. They don't exist. It, it, it realizes the dream of having, you know, of having a borderless world. So anyway, this is why use cases for crypto that cross borders are probably where it's going to be adopted for real use first. Yeah because that's where it adds the most value uh, relative to fiat. Because at the end of the day, like it or not, we are in competition. The crypto economy is in competition with the fiat economy. Um, and so we have to, in order to uh, stand up the crypto economy, you know, so that it's something more than just number go up, speculation, pump and dump groups, we have to have real world utility. And the way that we will do that is cross border, right? So it doesn't make sense to focus on onboarding one country. It makes sense to focus on cross border flows, right? Capturing them, bring that value into the Bitcoin cash economy. 
and really the top flows are um, remittances, uh, outsourcing, and uh, you know like freelancing uh, is part of that. It's not all of it, but it's part of it. Some of it is like IBM placing a call center in India, you know, which is that's going to be hard. But you know, you use the kinds of things that happen on Upwork and Fiverr and whatnot. That's going to be more accessible, but it is smaller. But it's just absolutely helpful, uh, and of course, and international trade. Of course, international trade. Now, Bitcoin Cash is excellent for international trade because um, because there can be a lot of delays, right? Banks have to issue documents, and it can be quite slow. And it can actually hold up ship real shipments of real goods, which is which is especially a pain in the butt now because of the other delays with international shipping due to the whole COVID thing. Um, you know, other cross-border movements are like uh, f direct foreign aid, right? Government to government, which of course, that's gonna, that's, I mean, that's probably never gonna be adopted. Uh, they're, they're never gonna adopt uh, anything but like a CBDC or something for that. Um, and uh, direct foreign investment, right? But direct foreign investment is also a kind of bank to bank thing, right? You know, like we, it's not enough for somebody to just use it, right? Or hold it, like we need ongoing use. So we need Harry to pay Sally, to pay Mary, to pay Jose, to pay Hector, to pay, you know, uh, whatever, yeah? Uh, we need an economy. We need this, this, the money to move. So things like direct foreign investment and, uh, international trade, they're, they're not gonna, they're, I mean, we can definitely tackle them down the road, but it's not the first thing, right? It's not the first thing. And right now we need the first thing, uh, and we need to get the maximum mileage out of it. You know, if, if I buy a container of shoes from China, uh, you know, I'm just going to pay and then. Probably they pay all their suppliers, right, in fiat. So they're, they're just going to immediately cash it out, right? And, okay, that's, there's no, it's not like there's zero value in there, but it, that's, not a, that's not a strategic place to focus because the, the follow-on use from that is not going to be much. So, um, so that's why it makes a lot more sense to focus on cross-border. Cross-border always because we're really just getting started. All right, so uh, that's it for today. Uh, let's keep building Bitcoin Cash.